Hi, I'm Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you the HTML Markio tag. Once again, I repeat the topic, the HTML Markio tag. An HTML Markio tag is used to display scrolling piece of text either horizontally or vertically. If you wish to use scrolling piece of text in a web page, then we have to use the option HTML Markio tag. The syntax starts with the opening Markio tag followed by attribute name and its corresponding value followed by closing Markio tag. Now we'll see the attributes and the corresponding descriptions. The attribute direction is used to define direction of scrolling text top, down, left or right. The attribute BG color is used to define the background color of the Markio. The attribute height is used to define the height of the Markio either in pixel or in percentage. The attribute width is used to define the width of the Markio in pixel or in percentage. The attribute loop is used to define how many times the content will scroll. Now we are going to see a practical example. Write an HTML code to implement the following HTML tag and attributes. Tag name Markio width 60%, height 95%, BG color yellow, loop 10, and direction down. Use H2 tag for text. In order to achieve this task, we are going to use Notepad. Go to the search box and type Notepad. Click the Notepad icon in order to open it. Type the HTML syntax, where the HTML is the root element of an HTML document. The head tag provides the metadata information about a web page. The title tag provides a title to a web page. The body tag is a container where all HTML tags go in. Provide a title example for Markio tag. Implement the Markio tag with the following attributes. Width equal to 60%, height equal to 95%, BG color equal to yellow, loop equal to 10, and the direction equal to down followed by the closing Markio tag. We are going to use the heading tag H1 to display the scrolling piece of text. H1 tags provides you the biggest heading. Now this is the time to save the HTML document. Go to the file and click on save as option. Go to desktop, create a new folder and name the folder as you like. Open the folder and provide the file name ex1.html select all files and click the option save go to desktop and open the folder and double click the web page in order to open it now you can see the real use of the html mark your tag it's simple and amazing if you like this video kindly like share comment and subscribe see you all in the next video